Hey guys, it's Thomas Snake River Base again. I want to talk a little bit about throwing the pilot chute. Throwing the pilot chute, obviously one of the most important things you can do on a base jump. If you do a bad job throwing the pilot chute, that's going to be really bad. If you do a good job throwing the pilot chute, you're going to save your life and that's what we all want. When we throw the pilot chute, there are two basic objectives of the pilot chute pitch. And this is true whether I'm handheld or stowed. Whenever I throw the pilot chute, same two objectives. The first object is for the pilot chute to hit the end of the bridle firmly. I want a good, strong throw where the weight of the pilot chute reaches the end of the bridle strongly and has it ready to go. Don't give a lazy toss. The second objective is for the pilot chute to be in a good position to inflate when it reaches the end of the bridle. I'd like to see the pilot chute fully extended, center line straight, mesh coming out, ready to inflate. If my pilot chute is upside down with air hitting the ZP from the top, or my pilot chute is wrapped in its own bridle, or the pilot chute has spun sideways, the pilot chute is not in a good position to inflate. Basic principles of the pitch, two major objectives, hit the end of the bridle firmly and have the pilot chute in a good position to inflate when it gets there.